This is Melissa. Um, I'd like to talk about Skittle today. So I, I, I kind of, part of what I want to highlight about Skittle is because she really deserves to have a highlight after the way that I used to treat her. Um, so essentially, I used to treat her, I used to call her something really awful and I still don't know what her name is that she had prior to me labeling her as this obnoxious swear word insult and um when I figured out that she was an altar and not just this concept of a child in the mirror that I really despised for horrifying reasons I mean why blame her um so I want to tell the story behind her getting the name Skittle which isn't uh which is the name that um I gave her but it doesn't mean that it's her, that she doesn't have another name. I just don't know what it is necessarily. Um, so Skittle is four. And I realized after this, this night of awful repentance and, 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 and shame about feeling, you know, Skittle, I'm, I just realized you're an altar and I was treating you like absolute crap all this, all this time. And she's so happy. She's so joyous. Um, she laughs and she giggles and she bounces. And it's pretty great. Um, and then I just remembered her from a few moments. Um, over my life and then um so then um I feel like I have hair in my mouth it's pretty disconcerting I may never recover it's the worst thing that's ever happened to me um class so I was like um right so that, how she got her name um I was talking to a friend and saying it's what time this this awful hateful swear word changes of a name even though I kind of uh, spelled it differently to dress it up and make it prettier to try to respect her and I told my friend you know what do you think if if instead of if, if until I know her real name and and until I I I, I can call her by her real name um because I don't know if she really likes the the new spelling that I gave her um what do you think if I what do you think if maybe I called her Skittle until I know her name and I send the message, and then, oh my god, I'm eating my genetics, it's mortifying. So, right, moving on. So, I send the message, and then I read it back, and while I'm reading it back, I realize that Skittle is, is, reading it too and she starts getting really excited I can feel her excitement it's like she's really happy and she kind of starts jiggling and like <laughs> it's, it was kind of funny uh funny not haha -ha, but funny absolutely adorbs and then I I, I said you know what I never mind I think I got my answer she she really likes the name and then I'm going to um show the message that I sent next and read it to you guys because it's it's pretty adorable. <clears throat> so I, I I just I'm, I'm I, you can tell I don't hate Skittle anymore. That was awful, but um so I like to share this because it's it's pretty great. And I have a few other stories to tell about her afterwards. I remember something that I always look back on in confusion that happened at age seven ish. I was on a school playground and brackets. She is very eager to get to be the one to type her name. So I will let her right now. Skittle! <laughs> she nearly went for the E and then wasn't sure how to spell Skittle. So, and then I saw the family van drive by with Big Brother in the passenger seat. And suddenly, at seeing Big Brother, I began to giggle hysterically and bouncing in utter joy. And my carton bird feeder seeds sprinkled around. When I saw the WTF looks on the other kids' faces, I stopped and wore my own WTF look. After remembering the glee in DBT with the bubbles and what that had to be, a bit later, I figured out it was Skittle. <laughs> she really likes her name. I really do. Oh, God. <laughs> and then I said that and 
had to send another message. I just read it back. She wants me to correct how I said that I giggled in the playground. She said no. Oh, I did. Yeah. So that I I'm 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 kind of proud of her adorableness. So I haven't shared that. And um, I have a few other stories about her that kind of shows her personality and and kind of her age too, because she's four. Um, and <laughs> she she's usually so positive, and she doesn't say anything negative. So when she said something that was like, well, not necessarily negative, negative, but you'll see when the story goes. I posted this on Instagram, on a story. Um, so. <laughs> Who talks about the potty but so <laughs> i have to be so we're going to wash him and then she looks down the bowl and she's like i don't want to do that <laughs> so i'm like fine that whatever i mean I, I i'd like to be alone for this anyways so and i don't feel her anymore i'm like thank god <laughs> who wants to be multiple when you're taking a leak um, and then, okay, so another story, um, I was opening a pickle jar and going to, get, obviously, a pickle, getting a pickle, and she dives her hand in the pickle jar and kind of bobs for pickles with her hands and starts giggling, and, um, <laughs> uh, it was a little uneasy for me, um, because when, I mean, I, I wasn't really used to knowing that that's what it was when she would kind of surface and take over and start giggling bouncing because I for a while I thought it was like the weirdest mania ever <laughs> and so at, when she did that I actually knew that it was her and it was like well that's kind of cute and I also felt like what was that man so now I look back on it I think it's it's pretty adorable. I mean, she was bobbing for pickles and literally the hands were pickle juice. So, I mean, that was funny. Um, last story that I find is pretty cute is um, the day after I kind of saw my repentance with her and uh, the day she got her name, but before she got her name, I saw so I was like all night and what, well, not all night in the washroom. I mean, you know, cause she's a, she was in the mirror. So, I mean, the washroom. Um, it was where the mirror was, so I went to the washroom and kind of apologized to her profusely, like, for a long time, like, sobs. I was like, I'm sorry, I didn't know, thank you for being my soul, because I called her, her soul was dirty, so I'm sorry, I didn't know, I'm so, thank you for being my soul. So the next, the next morning, um, and this was how I kind of figured out that she kind of heard me, was that when I would tick, and I, I haven't taken much of this video, but like, I would make my little noise, <laughs> and it was just an imitation, um, and then... She would imitate my tics with kind of like a, a giggle and a, and um, <laughs> kind of like that. Yeah. Or exactly like that. <laughs> I know why that's so unnerving sometimes it usually it's not on the, from the camera. Whatever, it's fine. Um, that's Giddle. She's adorable. And I admire her for being that happy. So, whatever. Um, I'm sure there'll be more Skittle stories later. I'm kind of almost glad she appeared in this video because it's almost... I, she's a nice one to feel. I mean, if you feel someone else's emotions, why wouldn't you want to be Skittle? So... Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in another video, and take care.